Welcome to a very special edition of TFL Camper Corner. I'm gonna show you a very luxurious trailer. This is a Keystone Fusion 373. This trailer is 39 feet long overall. It has a carrying capacity of around 2,800 pounds. And uh, by itself, just the way you see it here, it weighs about 14,500 pounds. But it's what's inside that's most important. So let me walk you through this trailer, actually show you everything about it, and uh, I think you might be impressed. This is a traditional fifth wheel toy hauler, which means you got a luxurious living compartment house in the front and uh, actually a garage for your toys in the back. But before we get in, uh, I wanna show you this ladder. And if you're not used to uh, newer trailers, a lot of them are actually using this type of ladder. While you're traveling, it stows away in the upright position and it looks really big, but there's a big reason for this. It actually attaches to the ground with its legs right here and it's super solid. I mean, this properly makes it feel like a house because it is a house. Let's go in. This trailer has not one, not two, but three slides. So let's actually push it out so I can properly show you the interior. In the front here by the door, there's a control panel. It's a secret code, please don't look. Okay, and now I have uh, another interface here uh, for this control system. This is in command. And if I hit the slides right there, I can first do the sofa slide. And it's actually right behind you, check it out. All right, so I just pushed out the sofa slide and the kitchen slide, and this trailer just converts into a gigantic space. It's really hard to uh, kind of bring it across on camera, but there's an island, uh, with a solid countertop, really beautifully made. There is a gigantic sink here with another counter space, lots of space for cooking. Check out these gigantic cabinetry. This is bigger than in my house. Over here, three burner stove, oven. I mean, you can cook up a storm in here. Microwave. Look at the size of this fridge. Giant fridge. This is nuts. All right, this trailer is brand new. It was just delivered to the dealership actually. So it still has a lot of stickers, but this is kind of a, a candid view of it. Look out the, for the headroom. I'm just over 6'2 and I can't even, I mean, I can jump and touch the ceiling, but I mean, this is humongous. Giant TV, fireplace, infotainment system, speakers, giant sofa, it reclines, it does everything else you want it to do. It's got cup holders. There you go. The garage can also be used as a bedroom, obviously. There are some couches that are stowed against the side, but you can see the floor with tie downs. You can put your straps here. If you brought motorcycles, maybe a side-by-side, -side. but it can be only like a smaller machine. A full four-door, four-seat, side-by-side will not fit lengthwise. So you have to think about those things. In the back here, you pull this strap and this drop-down door opens up <laughs> and it turns into a gigantic patio with walls. So um, you can actually unfold all of these walls, go around. So this could be like a, you know, you could watch a NASCAR race. You can go to the racetrack. I don't know. You stare out at nature. It's beautiful. Now take a look up here. Another television. Some more cabinetry lights, vents, outlets. This is basically a house with a garage. 
once again. There's also a bed up here. It's got tracks, it can come down, turn into a bunk bed situation. You can sleep a lot of people. And here's just a few storage compartments on the outside. Here on the passenger side, this is where the battery lives. And of course you can add additional batteries or equipment. Some outlets for the outdoors, so you can connect something outside, maybe like a stove or a TV. Here on the slide out, of course there are speakers. And also a TV mount, another TV mount. Crazy. Here's the ladder. So in case you need to do some maintenance or just climb up to the roof, there's a way to do it. On the driver's side of the trailer is a couple other doors. And I'm not showing you everything, just certain things. This is how you can fill up on your water, also drain the gray tank and the black tank. Ooh, I hate doing that. There's a little bit of storage in here and it goes all the way through. And it's a finished compartment, there's floor here. So it feels nice and premium. Up here, this is a hydraulic system access to the equalizer jack system. There's six jacks on this trailer so you can level it out when you park it. But of course the front jacks that we used for switching hitches today when we were testing with Gen Y hitch are up here and there's the control panel. Basically you can control the front, the left, right and the rear jacks um, all individually or you can uh, adjust it just the way you want to. There's also auto level feature. Let's check out the bedroom because we haven't even seen that. Now we're in the nose of the trailer. Uh, as you can see, the ceiling is a little tighter because we just climbed up the stairs to the bedroom. And here's the bathroom with a nice little sink, toilet, shower, all that is cool. Now let's step into the master bedroom. Once again, the slide is out, so we've expanded three slides now. And okay, it's a little bit tighter on headroom, but this trailer is already about 13 feet tall from the ground to the ceiling. There are three air conditioners on this trailer, one up here for the bedroom and two in the rear section. This is a giant bed. <laughs> So there you have it guys. Yes, this is a lot of trailer. It also costs a lot of money. The pricing varies from region to region. So just check it out. And if this video is possible only because I have our friends at Showalter RV in Napanee, Indiana. So check them out as well. And stay tuned for more TFL Camper Corner videos on TFL Truck.